Hi, this is Lynn with High Caliber Women. I'm here with Anna Pashanta at Anarchapoco 2016. Yeah, hi Lynn. Um, I was here talking about the Connector app, which is due out um, sometime in the middle of 2016, both iPhone and Android. And what Connector does is it allows someone to find a friend, a date, an event, a business on a map that shares your affinities and values. So for instance, uh, a female uh, shooting enthusiast could find other females to go to the range with, um, with a simple filter word lookup that will eliminate all the other users on the map. They can open up a secure dialogue and uh, meet each other right in text on the map and go from there and turn it into a real life meeting. Um, the important thing about this is that now make, making friends, meeting people becomes intentional. Instead of the old way where you would meet someone and invest time and energy into the relationship even before you find out if you're compatible or not. So it's a totally new way to make friends and other, other starts of relationships. What other types of applications might this be used for? What other types of meetings? Well, anyone that's in a club uh, can use it to organize because in your profile setup you can use a code word and that would be known by anyone you want to publicize it to. And that really has a host of applications. You could use that if you are going on a road trip and you want only a certain audience to know your whereabouts. They can find you um, and meet up with you along the way. Um, other things, if you tell Connector that you're interested in a certain kind of music, it will send notifications to you about bands that are coming before they come. I usually find out about concerts and other events that are along the lines of my affinities a week after the event. Um, so this will change all that as well. There's uh, many other things that Connector will be able to do that will completely change um, the way that we start relationships. And more information can be found at connector.ninja. Tell me a little bit about the activities. Uh, you, you were using the analogy of the, the bicyclist. Sure, well, when you're setting up a profile, you would arrange your affinities, um, and they're all based on the ways that humans feel connection. And the way you feel connection is by sharing an experience. So we divided it into four categories. One is do, one is think, one is feel, and one is believe. So in the do category, there's uh, examples like snowboarding and mountain biking, day hiking, shooting. Uh, in the think categories, there might be politics, um, lifestyle uh, sort of, of topics like real estate investors or um, perpetual traveler, uh, offshore banking type of entrepreneurs. Um, in the believe category, there might be a place where uh, Catholics could reach out and talk to Protestants. Um, so it's all kinds of religious and spiritual beliefs in that category. And in the fourth category, which is feel, there would be information there about the kind of relationships that uh, you're interested in having, um, including romantic relationships. Good, good. Tell me a little bit about uh, what we were talking yesterday about personal security. If, if you're meeting up with somebody, what are, what are the basics? Yeah, so common sense should be used with this application because it's completely controlled by the user. So just like in everyday life meetings, um, just because you're meeting someone for the first time at, at a cafe, you wouldn't want to give them your address or your personal information right away until you've built some trust and rapport. And it's the same way on the Connector app. It's, it has the ability to be completely anonymous. The user can use fake names and even use fake locations or locations that are offset slightly from their actual location to protect their um, privacy. And so when you're meeting someone on Connector that shares your um, your values and, and your affinities, it's a good idea to meet in maybe a public place or bring one of your, your own friends for the meeting the first time, just like you would any other uh, initiation of a relationship.
I would like to say that I am very excited about seeing all of you on the connector map and getting your feedback about how connector has changed the way that you can now make intentional relationships. This is Lynn Sherwood with Ann and Pashanta, Connector AF. Tell me one more time where you can find it. Connector.ninja.